Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrew. Today I'm going to be doing a very basic bitch thing and that is an Alcrate unboxing. This is the September box. I think I had an August box. I don't know if I posted it. I think maybe the footage got corrupted. So I don't know if you saw that or not. I have absolutely no idea what's in here. I don't even remember what the theme was or anything. So let me see. Memento Mori? Ooh, that's a fun little... Okay, so first thing is a tote bag that says Cresswell and Wadsworth, which I'm pretty sure is from Stalking Jack the Ripper. Pretty sure that's from Stalking Jack the Ripper, which I haven't read, and I was not sure when I read it because I didn't love Kingdom of the Wicked, but then I have seen people compare Stalking Jack the Ripper to the Diviner, so I, I'm probably gonna give it a shot at least. Ooh. And we have this, this keychain. Oh, this is like, so you can hang a bag, I think. You like put it at the end of the table and then you can like hang a bag on it. I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. But that's actually really cool because you can, it's very portable, it's so small. It just says Memento Mori on it, that's all it says. Hmm. Next we have, it says, stories are the wildest things of all. That's, I enjoyed that because they sure are. Oh my gosh, this is, this is a jewelry. This is perfect. This is, this is, yes, yes. Cause now I'm wearing jewelry all the time. Where do you put the necklaces? This is so portable too. Wow, actually could not come a better time. Legit, like, wow, okay, that's awesome. Then we have one flesh, one end. And it says sea salt, musk, amber, and card cardamom, cardamom, cardamom. Ooh, wow. Ooh, that is good. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Another hit of that. Like, that is delicious. Oh, okay. And then we have, is this a mug? Oh no, this is like a, these dreams will be the death of me. Some people are repelled by darkness, others are drawn to it. Wow, this is actually very pretty. I'm not sure if you can even see what that says, but it's like a mirror. Oh, it lights up. Oh, and this is the pin. The last one of these was so cute. It's like a luggage thing. Literary luggage collection. Sarah Moon Festival? The depths? Depths? Deep down underneath it all, the island's heart. Oh my goodness, this is, wow, okay. These are so pretty in person. Like, the way that, first of all, first of all, I mean, I mean, second of all, like, on both ends, wow. Like, this is so beautiful. I so beautiful. And then, is this a debut author? I, and it is signed as well. Let's see, what, okay, wait, let me also show you. That is under the dust jacket. Absolutely stunning. Now let's find out what, what is this book about? That is in my hands, let's. So apparently this is about a girl who goes to like a remote island and there's a boy there who tells her the island is in love with her and there's just all these creepy and eerie things happening, people in the woods, like, this sounds so good. It sounds so good. Mm -hmm. But I think my favorite item is probably this jewelry thing because it legit came, and I also love the quote on it. Stories are the wildest things of all. Yep, okay. The author's note, she said, it's supposed to be like a haunted mansion, but on an island. And that when the island loves you, it never lets you go. So, okay, let's find out what everything was inspired by. Oh, and let's see, it says next month's theme is a study in shadows. Oh, and here's the original cover versus the new cover. Personally, I prefer their new cover for sure. Okay, like I said, let's find out. So. So apparently the luggage enamel pin is inspired by an ember in the ashes. The, the lantern, this is inspired by Gallant by B. Schwab, which I haven't read either. Don't think I will. 
Okay, okay, and apparently the candle is inspired by Gideon the Ninth, which I didn't think I was going to read because I wanted, however, after Aaron from Booked and Busy said that it's like kind of and then there were none-ish situation, like, and that is the only book I've given five stars all year. This is, and this smelling, I feel like the stars are telling me to read Gideon the Ninth. So I'm going to read, I'm going to read, I mean, eventually, I don't know when, but I, it's moving up in my TBR because this, I'm kidding, this is probably one of the best. I wish this was bigger. Like, damn. Oh, that smells so good. And I was correct that this was inspired by Stalking Jack the Ripper. And I think that's it. I guess this doesn't have an inspiration behind it, the jewelry, but wow, that was only a few things, but they were really good things. And let's just, let's just read the first sentence and get a nice little taste. Let's just get a little sample. This is a good first sentence. There's a video of me dying on the internet and I can't stop watching it. I mean, I mean, what do you think? This sounds, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now it's obviously young adult. Like these end pages, man, like can you see how reflective they are? They are, and it continues. Mm-hmm, 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 yep. Okay, I think I'm gonna go put all my Alcrate stuff, like, into this bag until I can figure out what all I want, except for this candle. I'm gonna light it, like, right now. Like, it smells so good, and I want my whole house to smell like that. And I will leave my Instagram, Goodreads, Twitter, all in the description below for you to check out if you'd like. Otherwise, have a great day. Bye!